Hey there, gang, and welcome to the locker room. Coach Giggs here, and today's message, Fighting Spirit. Martin Seligman, PhD, and by the way, I have a PhD also. Only mine stands for poor, hungry, and driven. Okay, you didn't like that. Let me move on. Martin, anyway, in his research and his team, tested the swimming team at the University of California at Berkeley. They wanted to find out who were the optimists and who were the pessimists. They created a setback for the team members. The coach told each swimmer his time once they finished a heat, but the coach didn't give the swimmer an accurate time. He gave them a time much slower than the swimmer's real time. How did the swimmers respond to this setback? He said the optimists responded by swimming their next heat faster. The pessimists went slower on their next heat. What he discovered further is that optimists fight back when they hit a setback. They are resilient in the face of rejection and disappointments that we all face at one time or another in our lives. Optimists pick themselves up more quickly and move forward. They bounce back. They are bounce back artists. Pessimists, however, they succumb. They give up quickly. They get depressed. You know, I've always said this, the only thing that I've learned not to do is how to quit. I never quit. I hope you don't. Pessimists throw in the towel and let life run them over. And the only thing that separates optimists from pessimists is the way they think. When optimists have setbacks, they assume that the problem won't last very long. They don't indulge in self-blame. Instead, they look to see if there's anything they could have done to prevent that thing from happening again in the future. And then they move forward. They don't just jump to conclusion that this is going to ruin my entire life. Oh my God, it's all going to hell in a handbasket. No. An optimist will try to see how much of their lives and the setback won't affect. This is only a temporary setback. I'm good. Let's get it. You can become more optimistic, believe it or not, and positive if you follow these simple steps that I'm going to outline for you and make them a habit. You will bounce back faster and your lives will be so much better for sure. Steps are simple. Believe in yourself. Believe in what you're doing. Believe in others and know that this setback is temporary. Hold on to the dream. Hold on to the vision. Don't let it go. That's the formula for being an optimist. Pretty simple, gang. That's all I got for today. We'll see you in tomorrow's broadcast. Make sure you share this message and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.